Hey guys, it's Angie. Over the last few months, I've had several viewers reach out to me and ask how I keep my inventory since I have about 3,000 items. So I thought I would share with you today exactly where we store our inventory. I will tell you that I am a full-time reseller and I do not have a storage unit or a shed to keep my items. So we are forced to come up with some creative ways to store our inventory and have space to continue growing our inventory at least for a while. Now there will come a time when we're at capacity, but we're definitely not there yet and I would imagine it would take us at least doubling our inventory to get there. I thought you might be interested in doing a little tour of my house and I could show you exactly where we keep the eBay inventory and where we definitely don't. So let's get started. So first I want y'all to see that our living room is actually completely eBay free. If you look around, we're kind of minimalist when it comes to our space. And Ollie has many spots that he lays throughout the house. One of them is that rug right over there. But then if you come around here, here's one of his many, many beds that he has. But we have to have some space in the house that is eBay free and so this is a big one so then you walk over here and you can see my cute little patio out here with the lights but the next room is my bedroom and also mostly eBay free there is my elliptical I have a love-hate relationship with that thing but I do have this right here in my room which is a big <laughs> storage unit of plush. We don't want to put the plush in the garage, so we put all of our plush right here in these racks. And they are on wheels, so they roll around pretty easily. Okay, and then Ollie is following us around. Again, here is Ollie's ramp to get up onto the bed because he is a special dog. Here he goes, up the ramp. He's just showing you how he gets into bed. Okay, now let's head this way. Obviously that is our kitchen right in there, but this right here is my office. And while in my videos, it looks like it's nice and clean, it is not. <laughs> uh, this is all stuff that I'm currently working on, listing, and my desk is a complete disaster. No, that's not my bra. That's a bra I am listing. Uh, so look, and I was editing a video over there. So yeah, another Ollie bed with all the toys all around. And oh, hello, Ollie. Here you are again. This is just my bookshelf here, but it keeps, these are eight by six by four boxes. Ollie, what are you barking at? And you can see I have a mess going of stuff I'm listing. Large bags. These are the eBay bags. And then these are mid-size. And then down here is where I keep my inside inventory of padded envelopes. So we keep everything really close by. This is just miscellaneous things that I might need for shoe cleaning and, and whatever. I use a lot of wipes. My tape guns are there. And that's it. Okay, so let's head to the eBay room, we call it. It is actually where we do all of our photography. This is my mom's domain. This is all a bunch of stuff that we just picked up. And we have racks in here. You can see we have a clothing rack for clothes we're currently doing. A table here for photography more storage, and then our ring lights, our mannequin, and we hang clothes there. So a lot of things are done in this room. Uh, remember, this is our full-time job and we don't want to get a storage unit, and so you have to be creative. Now this room here has a big closet and we do store coats in here that we are selling. We do have a lot of purses. So purses go in the Ikea bags down here and right here. And then even some we hang right here. This 
container right here is full of any kind of collectibles, any fragile things. So we put them right down there in that little tote. They're all wrapped already, so they are ready to go. We have a few costumes, some oversized collectibles, and then just some mishmash. If we say eBay closet, this is what we're talking about. So that's one of our many storage areas, but that is tiny compared to the garage, which we will be going to. Our hallway here is another area that we use. We had this giant bookshelf. I'll back up a little bit so you can see. So I do sell a lot of books. Oh, Ollie is showing you everything. So we just come here. They're not kind of organized right now by any section or whatever, but because they're contained here, it's pretty easy to find whatever book we need. And then this closet right here is a double, it would be a linen closet, but not for us. For us, it is a shoe closet. So you can see every shelf is pretty well stocked all the way down, except for that, that's our wrapping paper. But even that bag down there on the floor, that's some kid's shoes. This right here is mom's room, which is always clean. She's right there. It was, yeah, stop. <laughs> she's eating a little snack and she's gonna kill me. That's not you. <laughs> Ollie has a bed, you can see. Of he does. Say hi, Ollie. But this room, she has a desk in here, but it's pretty well eBay free. Unless, unless she is doing something currently, sometimes she'll bring it in here and do work. But now we can move on to where we actually store the majority of our stuff. Okay, this over here, here's our kitchen, which it's like a galley kitchen. Now, and there's my GoPro stuff. Oh, those are very pretty Murano glass trees. I need to get those on eventually. That would be a good idea. But most people have this as a dining room. And at one point we did have a table here, but no more. Now we have a clothing rack of excess clothes that are not in the eBay room, but they will be going there next. Um, our laundry room is right here. And so as my mom preps things, she puts them on the rack and then she'll take them in there. These totes right here are either hats, the bigger ones are hats, or health and beauty. We don't like to put them out into the garage. In the winter, it's no big deal, but in the summer, we don't want everything to get hot and it kind of ruins things. So we store things in here. And then like this is something that I have not listed yet. So unfortunately it is right there. Okay, so out here in my garage, when you first come out, here is all of my storage for my boxes. I have every kind of box you could want pretty much from, the, from Priority Mail extra bubble wrap that up there is some padded envelopes then i have lots of the priority meal padded envelopes and even more there so that's where i keep my box supplies when you come over here it is my inventory these pretty much are all closed on this side i start up here and everything is labeled it goes the alphabet all clothes are as you can see a b c d e all the way down here and what we do inside each tote is items are all in their own individual bags so that if we're tossing things around no big deal nothing gets wrinkled everything stays exactly how it's supposed to which is great and my garage is super dark so we installed this crazy it's just one of those overhead lights but in the at nighttime it's super great to have that because we can see all the bins and then it goes around starts a a b b keeps going all the way around and we're currently ending on tt that's the end of clothing and then we start on our b totes don't ask me why i said b <laughs> i guess it's bin one bin two and in here are all hard goods and other things that we have so if it says it's in b5 you can come right out here and look in b5 and that's wherever you'll find the item then on the other side this is the bigger area of our garage this side here is all of our shelf storage 
So anything that we say is on the shelf means it's on one of these shelves. So it's for like oversized items. We, yep, we have Nerf guns. These are just swimsuits. They're labeled swim. We do have one just for costumes. We have like five hat boxes. That's one of the many. And then with our shoes, a lot of the men's shoes, we have, it says shoe and then 204. So each one has a different number. You would just come out here and pull whatever box you need and then you could ship it right in that. And then we have the ugly side. <laughs> well, this section right here behind this rack is all listed, at least the bottom three. All of that up there, all of this, and all of that is inventory that we haven't listed yet. I did pick up these cool, these Sunbeam um, old aluminum chairs. I've been seeing a lot of people sell those, so I need to clean those up and get those listed. But just things that we haven't listed, we try to bring in all the new inventory. It goes right into the house and we try to list that first. Most of this is older stuff that we've had for a long time and we get to it when we can, but it's kind of small and contained. All right, Ollie, what do you think? Did we do a good job showing all of our inventory? Now, each one of my bins is labeled AA, BB, B1, or the eBay closet. And there's a reason for that. When you are listing your items, there is a custom label right here. If you look on my active listings right here, this one says B3, B11, bras, the Q, B15. So when an item sells, I go right over to awaiting shipment and I look at what it says. The custom label comes right up. This one says cube, this one says shelf, and this one says BS, which is bookshelf. <laughs> when you're doing your listings, if you enter the custom SKU right then, it will actually help you when you're looking for your inventory at the end. I've been doing this a long time and it's much easier to start at the beginning, having some kind of inventory system that you can build on than to try to create it after you have a thousand listings. Now, if you have listed your items and you forgot to put in a custom SKU or you like me, I will list items, but I don't know where I'm putting them until we do a lot of 30 or 40 items and then we'll put them all away. What you do is you go over here to your active listings and your custom label will be right here. You can actually edit it right in this field. And if you look, whether we go all the way to Z or all the way up to one, every single one of our items, all 2,500 have a custom label. That way you can always keep track of your inventory. Do we lose things? Yeah, once in a while that happens. It happens to the best of us. Something will get mislabeled and we're on a crazy hunt for it. But when you have a good system in place, that happens few and far between. When it does, it's a complete nuisance because we have such a big inventory. But because we have the custom labels, it really makes it easy for us to keep control of the inventory no matter where it is in the house. And you see, we put things everywhere. I hope you enjoyed my little inventory tour so you can get a better idea of how I store my items, where I keep all my boxes, and how we manage to find all the items that we sell. If you have any questions about inventory, need any help getting your setup, anything else, feel free to message me. I'm always available.